You're crazy. Oh, the Empress, the Empress. You're crazy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're sure you don't want to stay? saying this? How could I have planned it with her? What do you want me to think? When both of you are so close, I, I, I would have expected you to know her whereabouts instead of just standing there looking like a lost chicken. You know, Tabuno wants to embarrass us. I won't let that happen. Her phone is switched off. I wonder where this girl could be. Traffic, Dad. I'm sorry I'm late. Why do you have to go leave this house for anywhere when you know something was planned for today? Where are your manners? Just, just look at the way you're dressed. Huh? You planned this party to, to, to get us formally acquainted to the uh, Akan family. What's wrong with you? Daddy, I've already said I'm sorry. Besides, I didn't plan this dinner. Mom did. Would you stop challenging me when I'm speaking? Selina, you better talk to your daughter. Talk to her to stop this wild behavior of hers. Tell me not. Mom, I've already said I'm sorry. You know what, let me go and change, you know, get out of this clothes. I don't want to ruin today. It's supposed to be a happy day. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please, please, uh, continue drinking. Uh, there is enough there for you to drink. And uh, very shortly, dinner will be served. <laughs> so? So? So what? So why did you bring her and my family here to embarrass us as such? Embarrass you? How? Is the food not good? Don't play stupid with me. Don't. I don't know what you're up to. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it's starting to get on my nerves. How long do you think I'm going to continue um, um, taking your crap like this? How long? Tell me. I mean, you have a nonchalant attitude towards this marriage. It's beginning to look like I, I, I'm forcing you. Uh, 
This is becoming amazing. I really don't know what you're doing in this class. Because if the truth be told, you haven't learned much. I'm sorry, Faye, but you know how it is right now. I have so many issues. Honestly, if you're not careful, the instructor will ask you to drop. I really hope he doesn't because I, I need this class. This is the only place I come to find peace. My life is a mess right now. Clean up your life, Tamunu. Clean up. You're too young to be having all these issues. I will. I'm working on it. All right, it's okay. Take care. Bye. And who do you think you're fooling? I know you were with Bruno. You can't pull wool over my eyes. You can't blame me, can you? The guy is just too exciting for words. You know this game you're playing is a high risk one, don't you? What game? Oh, tell me not spare me the pretense. You can save that for your parents. This whole three something between you, Akan, Bruno, just don't get it. I, look, I know. I know he's not good for me, and I know I should break it off with him, but the truth is, the guy is just too exciting, and he's so much fun. The other day, I wanted to break it off with him, and he suddenly proposed to me. Of course, you told him what to do with his proposal, right? I kind of didn't say anything. If I say no, it will break his heart. He's like a lost puppy. Then let someone else find him. Toya, you don't understand. I really, really love Bruno. I could never love Akan the way I love Bruno. Let me ask you something. Have you ever met someone who made your world spin? Someone who made your heart stop? Hell no. I'd rather have my feet planted firmly on the ground. How could you ever prefer that on serious guy to guy who... Who represents security, right? You think I don't know that? Of course I know that. My head tells me to go with him and my heart tells me differently. Look, you know he's so amazing. He's... He listens to me, he understands me and... Boy... Boy... That guy is such a great, great kisser. Mm. Yeah. You got a real bad sister. But let me advise you. You better wake up. Because Bruno is nothing but a dreamer. He's a guy who has not just his head in the cloud, but his entire body. Whatever, Toya. You could never understand what Bruno means to me or what he does to me. Mm -mm. Not in a million years. I remember those days in school. We were inseparable. He used to sing me to sleep and he used to make poetry to me. Oh. He was so passionate about everything. <sighs> I remember the first time we met. How long shall they kill our prophet? Why we stand aside alone? Some say it's just a part of it. We had to fulfill the book. Hey, won't you help to say <laughs> another song of freedom is all I have heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Redemption song. Ja, children. Yes, sir. Black man and woman alike. Yes, sir. Clean out their works from out of the year and listen I to that say. message. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Back in the days of old. Yes, sir. Elijah shouted, Elijah preached, mm -hmm. they fear them people at town. Yes. John the Baptist, he came, <laughs> oh, them chop him head off. 
Just son Jesus Christ, Christ man, man, he came. And them crucify. But them crucify him. Yes, I. Malcolm X. Mandela. Marvin the Messiah, Garvey yes, Kim. Yes, I. His emperor. Royal Majesty, Haile Selassie, Jar Rastafari, yes, Him Kim. Boom. But them people, them no listen. Tell them, tell them something. But Jack can't just stop. That is why Jack and I and I, if he come proclaim him word and set him people free. Boom. Boom. Tell the people something. are crying. Yes, I. Why them politicians are lying? The country is rich, me yes, people. Rich. The people are suffering while them Babylonian politicians are yes, looting, yes, raping, and sucking them people dry. Yes, we can't just pull our hands and watch the country go drown. Tell them something. I and I need to come up, rise up, job people, and let them save the nation free. Yes, I. Jar And that was the day I fell in love with him. Such passion. And that was the day I knew the guy was a lunatic. And you must be loony yourself to associate with him up till now. Look, whether you like it or not, Toya, I know Bruno loves me. I can bet my life on it. With Akan, I'm not so sure. He's so accomplished that sometimes I wonder if I'm not just a pretty face he wants to add to his achievements. The guy wants to marry you. And here you are thinking you're going to be another notch on his belt. Are you listening to yourself, girl? Anyway, if Bruno loved you, why did he leave you after we left school? He went in search of greener pastures. You know how intimidating my dad's world can be. And did he come back with a green pasture? No. Instead, he's moving about town, liberating the world. Tell him to better liberate himself by getting a job. He finished school two years before us. But here we are. We're done with service and we'll soon get jobs. I didn't know you wanted to get a job. I thought you wanted to travel abroad to further your studies. Well, I can't afford it. And I'm probably the only American citizen who cannot afford a flight ticket. I'm going to put some years into work and save some money here and there, and I'll kiss this land goodbye. But hello, we're not talking about me here, we're talking about you. I think you should make up your mind. If you want to keep hanging around this Mr. Natty dress, you better tell Akan it's not fair. You can't keep stringing him along like I that. I know, I know. And I feel bad about it. I'm so confused. Look, I'll tell him soon, okay? But I I think I'm going to stay with Bruno. We only find love once in a lifetime, and I don't want to walk, walk away from what might be my, my last chance at happiness. Akan and I would be so miserable. And you think your parents will agree to that? Do you think he just wants to get his hands on their wealth, which may not exactly be a lie? Stop insulting him, Toya. Bruno is not interested in material things. He has his eyes on higher matters. Higher matters indeed. You better watch it or else you'll get your fingers burnt. Because that guy is high on nothing but ganja. Stop it. I will not take it from you, Toya. Look here, young man. I will not say this again. If you, I see you near my daughter again, I will be forced to lock you up. Muma, your daughter and I love each other. Why can't you understand that? What I don't understand is, why the wind blew you to, to this house to come and destroy things for my daughter? But one thing is sure, you cannot succeed. Because Tamuno is engaged to be married to Akanbasi, a responsible and decent young man. That is something you cannot relate to. So get away from my house. If you love yourself, just get away. I don't want to see you anywhere near this house again. I hope it's clear enough. Muma, I and I mean no disrespect. But Rasta man shall suffer no defeat. Many, madam, have tried to discredit me. Discredit the work that I have done. Right from the time of the birth of Rasta man till now. Many obstacles have come my way, but Jah has stood by me. The same Jah has proclaimed that your daughter, Tamuno and I, shall be together as one. We shall be together. You belong to the psychiatric ward. Just get away from here. 
get away from my house right now. Oh, Muma, Muma, Muma. Don't Muma me, just get away. Oh, what I'm trying to say. Oh, thank God. Mom, what is it? Baby girl. Bombo clot. So these are the Babylon we won't rewrite history. Who is this? And me are the chosen emperor of this empress. But it's like you won't block the path of destiny. Tamno. Who, who is this madman? Bros. Now me won't marry this girl. Preordained from Jah Rastafari. The Almighty. Ever living, ever faithful one. Bruno, please, just stop this madness right now. This is not madness. This be not the truth. Just say them shall know the truth, and the truth shall set them free. Babylon, I warn you in your interest. Do not play with me, Empress. Otherwise, posterity will not forgive you. Babylon. Big up, boy. Baby girl. Can someone please explain to me what that was all about? Tamuno. We'll explain better. Excuse me. I'm waiting. I don't I don't know, Akan. I I'm so confused. I don't know what to do with him. He, he he's obsessed with me. He follows me everywhere I go to. I, I, I used to date him a long time ago and suddenly he shows up in town and starts telling me. You know you should try something else, because that won't work. Believe me, it just wouldn't work. That guy knew exactly what he was talking about. You're lying and you know it. I'm not. I'm telling the truth, Akan. You're telling the truth? If you are telling the truth, then why haven't you called the police? There's something funny going on here and I don't understand it. I don't know why though, but I don't understand it. How on earth could you ever date a man like that? That guy is not even normal. Tamuno, he's not normal. I know. I, I, I was young and stupid. Apparently. Good God. Just make sure this doesn't reoccur again. And you know that's my favorite program. You and I need to have a long talk. Can we do it later? No. We'll talk right now. Tamonotori, I will not have you disgrace this family. No, I will not. I brought you up properly. You must do right. If you think because you're out of the university, or oh, because you're past 21, you can run round Lagos with that lunatic from hell. You better have a rethink because I, Selena Johnson, will cut off those two left feet of yours. I hope it's clear enough. Selena, tell her. Tell her. Because if you don't and she continues with this nonsense, I will have to deal with it. Why are you always 
blaming me for Tamamo's problems? Because you are a mother. Aren't mothers supposed to take care of their children? As for you, and as far as you are concerned, if I hear any episode of you and that crazy fellow, I will strip you of all your privileges. Yes, car, allowance, everything, unless you behave in a manner befitting of the name of the Johnsons. Don't just lie there saying nothing. Talk to me. What do you want me to say? Look, I'm getting sick and tired of this whole thing. I mean, I can't do it no more. One moment you love me like I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you. Next moment you deny me in front of your folks. What's this about? This is all your fault. How? Well, if you hadn't gone away to God knows where, all this wouldn't have happened. And now you want me to do away with Akan? Who has done nothing wrong to me? Akan has been very good to me, Bruno. You are the one who hurt me. You are the one who took a long walk when I needed you most. Enough times, me tell you. Me was just looking for me, Kenan. You were just chasing shadows. And you could not even catch one shadow. Pray, tell me. Did you find your Kenan land? Okay, you're back. No change. Still the same, maybe even worse. Baby girl, me made the wrong turn. But now, me no say you're the only chosen one for me. And you did not keep in touch. You did not keep in touch with me. Bruno, for three years, I did not hear a word from you. And now you show up and expect that all I was doing all this time was waiting for you? It doesn't work that way. You left your land fallow for too long for another person to cultivate. And now you want me to do away with that person? Tell him that the landlord is back. And he wants his land back. It's not as easy as that. You know what, let's just, let's talk about something else. Did you call your uncle and promise to give you a job? I told you many times, I cannot. I told you many times. Rasta man cannot stay in an office and wear tie. I am a free spirit sent by John. Please, 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 please. Sweetheart, look, I believe in your talent. But right now, it is not going to take you anywhere serious. You need to give me something tangible. You need to prove to me that you can put food on the table. I'm not going to eat the sound of your voice. Even if... the sound of my voice caresses your soul. The sound that takes you to sleep and gives you such sweet dreams. Toya, are you sure you don't want to come with me? That's like the 20th time you're asking me and I'm still saying no. You never want to go anywhere except my house and the dance class. Don't you get bored? No, I don't. I love my boring life. How could you ever ask me to accompany you to a romantic dinner that's just meant for you and Akan? Romantic dinner? What's so romantic about dining with Akan and his crippled sister, who's going to be there as usual, annoying everybody? Anyway, I'm not going there for any romantic interludes. I'm going there to break up with Akan. Tamuno, that's not fair. What's unfair about it? Isn't that what you've always wanted? For me to break up with one and not string two people along? Yes, but not Akan. It's Bruno I actually wanted to get rid of. Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. Bruno is actually the one who lights my fire, not Akan. So Akan has got to go. And the sooner I do it, the better. But I'm not... Uh, please, don't butt me. I don't need one of your lectures, Toya. Just follow me and give me moral support. I'm not sure. I think... Don't think. Just follow me. 
please 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 okay but won't be too long you now have a coffee mm. you are not your crazy auntie why are you still living there? what would you rather eat under the bridge Hmm. No, 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 no. You do not touch the food until the guests arrive. Now that's not polite. And who are we expecting? The Pope? Look, I'm starving. I really want to eat right I now. I said no. Just wait till Tamna arrives. Oh. She's going to be here in a few minutes, okay? Uh, for a moment there, I actually thought we were expecting someone important. Why do you stay in that stupid girl anyway? Hey. Who's just taking you for a ride? That's my future we're talking about. Now you have to mind your language, show some respect. How can I show some respect to her when she doesn't even have respect for herself? Look, I can. The girl is just taking you for a ride. I can't even stand her. I don't know why you keep inviting her here. And who can you possibly stand, Erica? No one. Ever since your accident, you've become a total stranger. What is it with you? Tell me. You're no longer that sweet, loving little sister of mine anymore. And you are no longer the good big brother you used to be ever since you met that witch. You promised to take care of me after our dad and my mom died in the accident. But now all you do is run around Tamuna, Tamuna this, Tamuna that. In case you have forgotten, I am the one in the wheelchair. I am the one whom life decided to deal harshly with. I'm the one who has to hey, go around- Hey, please. Please dispense with the pity party, I beg of you, because I'm not in the mood to attend it. Do you understand? Why are you always so- We'll take a rain check on that one. Ah, hello, Jay. Come on in. Come in. Come on, I never thought you guys were going to show up. Meaning, I never go back on my promises. Really? You could have had me fooled. I can please don't start. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, you remember my friend Toya? The one I share the same name with? Of course, how could I ever forget her? Still as pretty as ever. It's nice to meet you, Tamano. Good to see you. Yeah. Please call me Toya. Most people do. Toya, I thought you guys were named sex. Yeah, we're both Tamano Toya, but I'm called Tamano. Well, she's called Toya. That's how we differentiate ourselves. Oh, I see. So, what are we having for dinner? Why don't you come in and find out? This way. <laughs> Hello, Erica. You look very happy to see us. And believe me, we're happy to see you too. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm late. This is my friend Toya. Toya Erica, I can sister. Please, save your apologies. I didn't expect you to come early anyway. Your inability to do anything right must be inborn. First of all, you show up late. Then you tag your uninvited friend along. Do you both please? Stop it and stop acting like some 16 year olds. What's the matter with you? Erica, please behave yourself. Um, Toya, I'm, I'm really truly sorry about this, honestly. This is very unusual of this family, this kind of introduction, okay? It doesn't usually happen like that. I'm truly sorry, okay? I really should go. I think I am the reason for the tension. Oh, no, 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 not at all, please. <laughs> no, it's just that um, Erica is the, she's in a very bad mood, but she's going to get over it. We're very happy to have you here, very much indeed. Tamna told me you're a physiotherapist. Oh, yes, I am. Wow, you don't look it. You look absolutely different, the opposite. Mm. Like a model, a dancer. Yeah, everyone thought so. I proved them wrong. I dance though, but for fun. So what do you think you have achieved? The fact that you studied physiotherapy does not make you a physiotherapist. Have you started practicing? What are your records like? You haven't proven anyone wrong, at least not just yet. And by the looks of you, I don't believe you can. Where did you finish from anyway? I'm impressed. I didn't know you had the ability to give a more than one sentence speech. We should celebrate, don't you think? Sweetie, you don't have to be so bitter. It's nobody's fault you had to drop out of school. I really should go. You are not going anywhere. How? 
dare you come into my house and insult me? Mm -mm. <laughs> you, you, you got that wrong. You see, this is Akin's house, and I am his fiancée. And in a couple of months, this will be my house. Would you two please just stop? Put a sock in it, I beg of you. Erica, why are you behaving like a spoiled brat? Oh yeah? Am I? Well, how about this? For really acting spoiled. from Hakan. If she were my sister, I swear I would have beaten some sense into her. My God! I'm sorry about that, Tamla. You know, you really, you really, you, you must be patient with her because um, ever since she had that accident and became crippled, I've always been responsible for her, you know, and um, I have to handle her with care. You must understand that she's going through a whole lot. Hakan, please. Her disability is not an excuse for her to be rude to people, especially my friend. Akan, if you don't do something about Erica, I will reconsider marrying you. For God's sake, are there no homes for disabled people in this country? Oh, I'm really sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have come. What? You shouldn't have reacted like that. That was way too harsh. Too harsh? I was even too calm for that idiot. She's becoming a thorn in my flesh. I mean, who the hell does she think she is? She's just a pretty face on a wheelchair. She's getting very angry at the world, which is not uncommon with people in her condition. You should be a little bit more patient with her. And I'm sorry I don't have that kind of patience. Neither do I have the heart you have. She needs to be told some few home truths. What, what does she think she is now? And you took it all out on her card. I think you should go back there and apologize to him. What? If you want to break up with him, then do it properly. And not make it using his sister as an excuse. Apologize to Akan. Oh, yes! Akan owes us an apology. You know what? To hell with Akan and his crippled sister. I don't have time for them. This is why I like Bruno. Oh, please don't even go there. Stop looking for a way to call a dog a bad name in order to hang it. Whatever. I still like Bruno. He doesn't have Akan's baggage. Let's go. How are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm, I'm looking for Tamano. I mean, um, ever since you both left the house yesterday, I've been trying to call her, but she wouldn't pick the calls. I'm just coming from her house right now, and she's not there. And even her mom says she, she hasn't seen her yet. She should be somewhere around because she didn't show up at the dance class today. I was hoping to stop her at her house on my way home. Oh, really? Yeah, um, well, that will be good. Can I drop you off? Or, or, or did you come with a car? No, I don't have a car. I was hoping to catch a cab. Oh, fine, great. Then let me drop you off then. All right, Let's thanks. Go. Where did you see him? He came to the dance class to look for you, and I was on my way here, so he brought me. Tamano, where are you coming from? And is there any particular reason why you want to know? Tamano, you know, I won't... Akan, please. I'm not in the mood for one of your sermons. You're not my father, all right? Why weren't you picking up my calls? Simply because I did not want to speak to you. Tamano, I don't believe you. What, what is wrong with you? What has come over you? Have you no sense of responsibility or what? I'm your husband-to-be for crying out loud. Husband-to-be? Yes. Akan, please wait for us to tie the knot. In fact, if we tie the knot before you start pestering my life. Is that a threat? Call it whatever you like. Let me tell you something. Keep going on like this and believe me, you wouldn't like the consequence. Whatever. I'm really sorry, Akan. I guess she's just having a bad day. She'll come to her senses. Thank you.
listen Erica, you have to stop being angry. You have to stop being angry. Believe me. I am truly sorry about your accident. Believe me. I wish the accident had happened to me instead of you. I would have borne that pain for you. Yes. But you, you, you just gotta let go. You have to let go that steam before you destroy yourself. So this is about the other night, right? You're taking sides with your girlfriend. <laughs> no, not necessarily. But, but now that you've mentioned it, I think you should apologize to Tamano and her girlfriend. Yes. Because each time I come around here with my girlfriends, you, you, you always come up with this attitude. Why? You, don't you want me to get married? Huh? Erica? And the doctor said that you could walk again with therapy. You could walk again. But no, you wouldn't have it. You just want to sit on that wheelchair and, 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 and snap at the entire world. So it has come to this. You're tired of me and you're just looking for a way to chuck me out, right? Oh God, Erica, you know, it's just like a brick wall trying to reason with you. I don't know why... You can say anything you want to say. If, if this had not happened to me, I wouldn't even be in your house. It's, it's because I'm disabled, right? You feel you can treat me any way you want. If I had the use of both my legs, would I be here? Would I even be in your house? Would you be treating me this way? I'm not a burden to you, right? Hey, hey, listen. You're not a burden to me. I am. I'm a burden to you. Erica, you've burden. never been a burden to me. Okay? Don't say that. I will always be there for you. I will take care of you no matter what it takes. Okay? If he's in the living room waiting for you. What? Um, if he's here? Uh, um, how do I look? You look great. Oh, God. Um, okay, um... Tell him I'll, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. What are you doing here? Is that the way you welcome the love of your life, Erica? What do you want? Isn't it obvious? Why can't you listen? I have told you time without number. I don't want a boyfriend. Erica, please. Give me a chance to prove to you that I'm here to stay. What is wrong with you? I have known you for years. All the while we were in school together, you never even asked me out. Why is it now that I'm... That, I'm that you're in a wheelchair? I've loved you ever since the first day I set my eyes on you. You're yeah, right. I mean, but I couldn't ask you out. I was afraid. I mean, we're from two different backgrounds. Nothing has changed. I'm still rich and you're still poor. Why do you think I would want you now? Oh, oh, because I'm now disabled, do you think I'll be vulnerable? I asked you because I'm older now and I'm wiser. And I know now that our backgrounds are not important if we truly love each other. That is the problem. Can't you see? You love me, but I don't love you. So please, could you stop disturbing me? Please? Are you sure I'm disturbing you, Erica? Yes, you are. You know you want me, Erica, just as much as I want you. You're just being difficult. But it's okay. Uh, I'll just leave you to think about me. I'll be back. Dad, please, I'm looking for something on the chair. Can I sit yeah. down now? Yes.
Are you looking for this? Oh, Dad. Things. I never remember why I leave these things. You can no longer drive the car. Oh, is it faulty? Oh, God. I guess I can use the BMW then. You cannot use the BMW, nor any other car for that matter. I have withdrawn all your privileges. No car, no allowance until you get married to Akan, who is a very decent guy. And besides, he was here yesterday with his uncles. Daddy, the wedding is not until six months. How am I supposed to cope with that money till then? Oh, 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 the wedding has been brought forward. What? Yes. Daddy, why are you doing this? Why are you in such a hurry to marry me off? Are you tired of seeing me in your house? Uh, no, no, I am not tired of you. What I am tired of is your stupidity. I will not allow you bring disrepute to my name. So we decided to move the wedding forward so that you will get to understand that this is a very, very serious family. And for you to stop acting silly. And that is why all your privileges have been withdrawn. And if you disobey me any further, you will see what I will do to you. Tamuno, you don't have even the right to argue. Dad! Dad! Hi. Hello. Yep. I'm going to marry Akan. I'm talking to you. I thought you'd be jumping up and down right now in ecstasy. Because I don't understand you anymore. I said I'm going to marry Akan. Aren't you happy for me? Are you happy for yourself? Why did you decide to do this all of a sudden? What do you want me to do? When my wicked father has denied me access to my trust fund, I don't have any money, I don't have any car, how am I expected to cope? It's just been one week and I'm going crazy. So this isn't about love. It's about the material things you stand to lose if you don't get married to Akan. Is that a good foundation for marriage? And what happens to Mr. Liberator of the world? Stop calling him that. I'll have to leave him. <laughs> because the truth is, if I don't have money and he doesn't have money, it will be economic suicide. We can't cope. Thank God at least you've finally come to your senses. But let me warn you, if after you get married to Akan and I see you hanging around that ragamuffin, I will personally tell Akan because he doesn't deserve that, okay? Don't worry, my sanctimonious. Nothing like that is going to happen. Bruno is history. And I'm telling you the truth from the bottom of my heart. So don't fret. Enjoy your meal, okay? Yeah, Chief. I'll be waiting. Yeah. I'll just find somewhere and sit down. Please don't take so long. Yeah. I'll call you back, I'll call you back. Tell me no. Toye! No! Oh my god! Wow! What have you girls been up to? Um, I just did my youth service, still waiting to get a job. And you, you look like you've hit some good money. My dear, I met this Aristo. He's been taking good care of me. I've been in America, I just got back. Wow! Yeah. Wow, it's good to see you. <laughs> Let me have your number, maybe we can hook up sometime. Oh, that's fine. Believe me, I can. I didn't mean to hurt you. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. I don't know where you get off thinking that you could just breeze in and out of my life just the way you want. What do you take me for? I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, fine. I know I don't really have anything to say, but I guess I just developed cold feet. Look, I can. This whole marriage thing is a bit too much for me. Well, then let's call it quits if that's what you want. Of course, you know that's not what I want. I want to be with you. Look, you know I'll never hurt you intentionally, right?
The only thing I know is that your actions are starting to get on my nerves. And I'm beginning to have a second thought about you. I do not understand. Shh. It's okay. I'm sorry. Okay? Smile for me. Come on. <laughs> I don't know why I let you get away with these things. That's because you love me. And I love you. Not do that. That is not the life I planned for myself. Hey, you're screaming as if I told you to start prostitution. I only said my sugar daddy has a friend who is looking for a companion. And you honestly feel that companion should be me, right? Well, since you said you really needed money, so I thought I should help you out by pimping me to a man old enough to be my granddad. God forbid you, Christy. Try not to destroy this friendship we have. If my aunt there hears that, she will throw me out of this oh, house. Oh, to Slow down, okay? I only made a suggestion. Feel free to decline. Well, I have. Okay. Oh, oh wahala. Let me leave you to continue wallowing in poverty. But for now, go find me food, make a chop a bag. Who did they borrow from? Indeed. My friend, go find me food, I beg. No, no, say poverty in a sin. Thank God for my life, oh. See, babe, where I want help. <laughs> He's my friend, sir. Please tell me you are joking. I wish I were. Why would you want to do a thing like that? Toya, I cannot live a lie. Marrying I cannot be living a lie and I don't want to do it. I don't love him. So, what do you intend to do? I'm going to elope with Bruno. You're crazy. Yes, you're crazy. Are you aware of the fact that your wedding is in two days? I know. That's what I'm telling you, so you can help me pass the message across to him. 
I don't have the guts to do it myself. I feel crazier than I thought. Listen, there's no way I'm going to get myself involved in this kind of mess. Toya, you're my best friend. Come on, it's only fair for you to help me out in this situation. We plan to leave tomorrow afternoon. What? How? Where are you going? As far away from me as possible. You're a mess. God, I can't believe you. This is strange. Where could she be? We thought she was with you. No, Mom, I mean, I've not seen or heard from her since yesterday. She even switched off her phone. This is very serious. Mm -hmm. Selena, have you tried getting to her uh, friend, uh, Tonya? Yes, I tried that phone, but um, it was switched off too. Why did you get to the house? Honey, I would have done that, but I don't know where she lives. What do you mean you don't know where she lives? How can you say you don't know where your daughter's best friend lives? What, what type of... Sophie, what type please, of please, 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 please. This is no time for blames. We have to really find her first. I happen to know where Tonya lives, so I'll, I'll just go there and look for her, okay, Mom? Okay. You do? Yeah. Please. Thank you very much. Not to worry. Khan, I tried everything within my power to convince her not to do this, but she wouldn't budge. I was so confused, I didn't know what to do, and so I turned off my phone because I couldn't face anyone. I understand how you feel. So Tamina will do this to me. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Tonya. So Tamano thinks she can embarrass me, not so. I'm really sorry. I wish there was anything I could do to make things right. Maybe. Just maybe there is. What? How do you mean? I don't understand. You will take a place at the altar tomorrow. Are you out of your mind? No. I'm in perfect control of my mind. It's business. I will pay you. All you have to do is live with me for three months. Can you imagine this guy asking me to marry him for two million naira? Isn't that crazy? I don't get you, honestly. I really don't get you. What are you bitching about anyway? You already say you're not doing it, so get a grip. I know I won't do it, but the money is so tempting. And I'm disappointed at the fact that I am tempted. See what thing happened now? Are you not a human being? <laughs> okay, will it kill you if you just do it? God knows you need the money. Okay. Let's look at it this way. You'll be saving poor Akan. And he'll be the laughing stock of the whole town. I don't know. Tamuno will never ever understand. She'll think I planned it from the beginning. Tamuno care. Tamuno doesn't care about anything else except that her Rasta boyfriend. She has the man of her dreams. She'll even be grateful for saving the day for her. I feel something will go wrong. I feel something terrible will happen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen. Let's look at it this way, okay? A rich, drop, dead, gorgeous man offers you two million naira. Two million naira just to marry him. And you're here thinking twice. <laughs> if I were you, I would grab the opportunity because you see where that money is coming from? Hmm? There is more there. The kind of love will show the man. The kind of love will show him. Hey, the Bobo no get ever escape my. In fact, not till death do us part. Oh. Make you just come the wrong go us a quick, quick. Before he changes his mind, though. Don't call me. I'm going to get some. Do you have some? Hello. 
Tamuno. Tamuno, you are a disgrace. Not just to this family, but to womanhood. How could you do such a thing? I'm sorry, Mom. I just couldn't bring myself to marry her. Couldn't do it. I wanted to let you know that Luna and I are in trouble and we are fine. And you think I care? Tamuno, you can go to Toronto and it will not make any difference. After all I taught you, you are nothing but a goat! Mom. Mom, I know you're very upset. Of course I am very upset. Akan was such a good thing. But your friend has him now. Friend has friend has to. What are you talking about, Mom? My dear daughter, the wedding still took place with your best friend, Tonya, as the bride. So it's not possible. Really? Oh, do like that. Anyway, I wish they will be happy like I wish you and your mad friend over there. You, you. Tamuno? Tamuno? That was Tamuno. She called to tell us that she's in Togo. I am not interested in whatever she said. As far as I am concerned, that girl no longer exists. No, sweetheart. She is still your daughter. You can't take that away. She is not my daughter because I have just disowned her. That is the end of this topic. Please, can I have something to eat? What is really wrong with you, Tony? You were really dancing out of rhythm. And we were even dancing to your favorite song. Don't you want to take part in the dance reality show again? Because if you continue like this, they won't choose also. You know you are my partner. And I really need to be in that show. Otherwise, maybe you should get another partner. There's just so much on my mind. I can't concentrate on a lot of things. Or is the marriage getting to you already? I'm fine. Maybe I shouldn't have come today. I guess I'm just tired. No, no, Tony. You're not fine. It's written all over you. It's the marriage, isn't it? I still can't figure out why you married Tamino's fiancé. I wish I were dreaming. I just wish all this hadn't happened. Well, if you want to talk about it, I will be glad to listen. Hello? Hello? You've been planning a long way. You always wanted to have a time for yourself. All the time you're behind me and have to get him. So all I know you're getting him more than you and I was coming to you to tell you my problem. I trusted you, Tamuno. Tamuno, slow down. Why are you saying such things to me? Look, let me explain, Tamuno. I don't want to have anything to do with you ever again. Our friendship I want to cook. Oh, really? Maybe I can help. At least I know how to make some Ibibio dishes. Do I look like I want to eat poison? I may not have the use of my legs, but as you can see, my hands are working. So if you could please leave my kitchen so I could cook. But I'm cooking as well. I said get out! Stupid gold digger! Now! <sighs> mm, 
listen, Tonye, I truly understand how you're feeling, okay? I do. But all I'm asking is for you to be patient just a little longer. I mean, I already explained everything about Erica to you, didn't I? I'm running out of patience with your sister. She's driving me up the wall. I think we made a mistake, I can. I had to ask, well, could you please just give me the two million and let me travel out of this country before I go completely crazy? No, I can't. Not until three months. See, after three months, we both go our separate ways. But until then, we're sticking to it. Hi, sleepyhead. Wake up. We are closing. Wow. It's 9 p.m. already. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize. Running from your matrimonial home won't solve any problem, Tony. Whatever it is. So? I'm not running away from anything. Hi. Um, okay. I hope you're not cheating on my brother. Look at the time you're coming in. A decent lady should, should mind her business. Please go to bed. I am not in the mood for you this evening. What are you in the mood for? Deception. coming from by this time of the night? I went out with a friend. You went out with a friend? You know, you should have informed me. I was really worried about you. Besides, you switched off your phone. I've been trying to reach you like forever. I have a right to know your whereabouts, you know. You have? Yes, I have. And just in case it has escaped your memory, I am your husband. Only on paper. In two months, this whole charade is over. For now, I can go out and come in as I please. So if you don't mind, excuse me. You will not do such. As long as we are husband and wife, I will not tolerate any infidelity in this house. Do I make myself clear? so aggressive. If you thought the music was too loud, all you had to do was say so and I would turn it down. Because I expected you to know. Only a child gets told what to do. And you, you're certainly not a child, considering your scheming ways. Erica, please, not this morning. Certainly not today. Let's not fight. You will not tell me what to do in my own house. I will raise my voice when I choose to and I will keep it low when I choose to. All right, ma'am, as you please. And don't you give me that patronizing tone. What do you want me to do? I want you to get out of our lives. What kind of shameless girl are you? <laughs> you think I don't know what you're here for? You're scheming to get my brother's money, right? <laughs> but let me tell you something. You have failed because I certainly will not allow you to. 
fight you with every fiber of my being. Ah! Erica! Don't be scared. I didn't come here to seduce you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. Show me a man who's afraid of seduction, and I'll show you a liar who's afraid of prey. Is that supposed to be a proverb? Well... Anyway, it's about Erica. Ah, uh, Erica. <laughs> She's driving you crazy, huh? Even me. Yeah, she is, but that's not what I want to talk about. It's about her leg. I had a feel of her leg today, and I think there's still life in it. With a lot of therapy, she can walk, at least with crutches. I don't really know if she's ready for that yet, because when she heard the accident, I... I got her the best physiotherapist in town. You know, he did all he could for several months, but there was no progress. Erica got frustrated and then quit the whole damn thing. I got a couple of more hands to help her, but she wouldn't even let them touch her. Did you try talking to her? Maybe she wasn't ready then, you never know. She could be ready now. <sighs> you know, that could be very hard considering how much she hates you. She doesn't hate me. She just envies me. And that is why I want to help her. So, what makes you think you can? Best graduating student, 2004. Best physiotherapist, 2006. And I was doing my housemanship. Should I go on? That's enough. You already have me convinced. I never knew you were so brilliant. It's not necessarily brains. It's passion. And that is why I really, really want to help her. Well, I think I should get back to bed now. And you need some rest. Good night. Uh, please, stay the night. What did you just say? You heard me, right? I said, um, please stay with me for tonight. Do you realize what you're asking for? How could you? You are my wife. Only on paper. I can please try not to complicate issues. I'll see you in the morning. Good night.
I told you she was up to no good. She tried to kill me. She put a lizard under my chair. She thought I didn't know. Erica, she wasn't trying to kill you. She believes you can walk again. She was only trying to help. I don't need her help. Who the hell does she think she is? What can she possibly know? We used the best physiotherapist, remember? And he couldn't achieve a thing. Why would a fresh graduate who knows next to nothing think she can succeed where he failed? Just give her a chance, Erica. I don't need her nor anyone's help. Now you all just leave me alone. Just leave me the hell alone, please! All of you! So, what was that lizard thing for? I just wanted to know how much she could use her legs. She can walk. I'm sure of that now. So, does she agree? Nope. But she will. Trust me. Hey, listen. I wouldn't be around for breakfast, but uh, I'll be back for lunch later on in the day. Would that be okay? You're asking for permission to eat in your own house. Will you be here? Nope. I need to see my aunt. She's still very upset with me. But I'll keep your lunch. Thank you. Erica, please come out with me. You never go anywhere. You always hold up in this house. I'm not complaining, Efe. I don't want people staring at me with pity. I'll go out when I'm ready. You're not going to stay here forever, you know. You have to come out sometime. I'll go out when I'm ready to face the world. And until then, please stop hounding me. Don't blame me for trying. I only want to show you the world. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Efe. Find yourself a complete woman and stop fooling yourself. Erica, you're more complete than all the women out there. And I'm not frazzled by the way you're treating me. Because I know you. I've watched you for years, Erica. I know that you are kind and good-natured. And this thing you're going through is just a phase. And I would like to hold your hand through it. Please, let me.
come in. Okay. Is uh, Erica in? Oh, yeah, she is. Please sit down, I'll go get her. to get a life. Oh my God. Isn't that what you always wanted? Now I can be the woman you want. Erica, you are always the woman I want. It was never about you walking or not. I know. And I'm so sorry for being so nasty to you. Please forgive me. It's okay. I understand. Crutches. Yes, I am. I don't believe this is cause for celebration. <laughs> we should pop champagne. Yes, we should. <laughs> so hold on a sec. It's so good to see you without your crutches. I know. Still wobbly. I know. But <laughs> I'm guessing there. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's okay. It's rose champagne. Mm -hmm. Rose. Mm. <laughs> Come here. Now. All right, now. A toast. To Erica. Dad. Newborn, new life. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank mm. you so much. <laughs> Ah, I'm so tired. I can understand. It's been difficult, yeah? Tony is such a hard teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tony, for everything you've done for me. I can't seem to thank you enough. It's just, I'm so sorry for everything I put you through, for all the hard times I give you. No problem. That's okay. It's one of those things. This is a happy occasion. No need for sad talks, please. Thank you so much for understanding. Let me leave you two. Let's have yeah. one. Go rest. Yeah. Go. Careful. Uh uh. <laughs> I don't believe this. No more crotches. I have to. My God, I don't believe it. How did you do it? You are unbelievable. You are amazing. Do you know that? You are great. You are so. Oh good. no, that's okay. What? I've had enough. I don't take too much alcohol. My head is spinning already. Oh, come on. A glass wouldn't hurt you. Are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. I was just trying to create a, you know, a very relaxed atmosphere where we can get to talk more before you retire in. I'm going to miss you. I guess I'll miss you too. So why don't you stay then? My time is up, Akan. This is meant to be for three months. By giving an extra four months because of Erica. Because of Erica? Just because of Erica? Only because of Erica. This is a business arrangement. And you know that as much as I do. So why are you trying to read meanings into it? Well, I have an early start tomorrow. Hold on a second. 
propus dat? Well, I thought since I'll be leaving first thing in the morning, very early in the morning to work, I thought um, I should give you your check right now, just in case we don't get to see in the morning before you leave. Seven million naira. Yeah. But this is not. Um, that's like one million naira for every month you spent with me, and um, it's the happiest months I've ever had in my life. For the seven months you've been with me. You deserve more than that. Believe me. I've had nothing but joy and happiness you've been around me. I just I can't thank you enough. God, I... Um, I'll call up my lawyers to drop the um, divorce papers. Thank you. Hey, Toyin! Hey! I can't believe I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Are you crazy or something? I mean, it's bad enough to walk away from a loaded guy like that. But to walk away from 7 million naira is the height of it all. Chris, what the hell is the matter with you? Christy, I could not bring myself to take that money. Not with the way I'm feeling. Tony, how are you feeling? What are you feeling that 7 million naira cannot cure? Hey! I feel like flogging you right now, honestly. In fact, we are going right back to pick up that check. Hell no, I do not need the money. Hey, you're not thinking straight at all. I'm telling you. In fact, thank God I'm here to make things right. We are going back there right now. It is pointless. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Seven million naira, Toy. Seven million naira. Hey, one, two, three, seven million naira. Gina was here. I called your phone, it was switched off. And so I called Christy and she told me you were here. Why did you switch off your phone? Maybe I didn't want to be disturbed. Hmm. You forgot this. I didn't forget it. I don't want it. Why? Can't please. You love me, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I hope this is for real. As real as the rising sun, my dear. I thank God for bringing you into my life. You're a rare gem. So are you, my darling. I just hope I'm not playing second fiddle to you. What do you mean? His history. You're my future. My hope. My joy. Is that clear?
baby, don't go, don't go, don't go. Listen, baby girl, I will make this right. Come on, baby girl, don't do this. Baby girl, don't do this. Listen, listen, you are not patient, that's all. If you were patient now, this would have worked out. I'm not taking you to the promised land. Don't stop, stop, okay. I don't want to hear that promised land ever again. That's all I hear. Promise not promise that never happens. I am frustrated. What is the truth, baby girl? It's the truth. Uh, what you? No, baby. No, Tommy, Tommy, don't go. Tommy, Tommy, you want me? I won't stay for your No, Tommy. I'm ruining my life. No, Tommy, I love you, Tommy. No, Tommy, I love you. Tommy, you cannot go, baby girl. Baby girl, I love you. I will caress you with my voice, baby girl. Tommy, I'm going to you. Baby girl, I'm down. Break your head. I'm on my knees, baby girl. I'm on my knees. Bastard. Oh, baby girl. Please, please don't go. I don't want to. Get out of my house before I strangle you with my own hands. Don't get out. Daddy, please, I'm very sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. It's the work of the devil. Work of the devil? Why don't you go to the devil to give you accommodation? There is no place for you in this house. Just get out. Tamuno, get out. Daddy, please. Out. Nonsense. I was thinking of us going for holidays. When? Sometime soon. When I'm done with work. Where would you like to go? Miami. Miami. <laughs> yeah, I would say Miami is like the developed uh, Bahamas. Still has white sand, palm forms, blue beaches. beaches. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful place. Yesterday, 
I had to sleep at a hotel last night. Please, I don't know if you guys can accommodate me here for some time till I can sort myself out. That's okay. Please come in. I don't know what she's been through. What about what she put me through? What was she? She just walks in here casually and expects me to welcome her with open arms? Is that what she's expecting? What do you guys take me for anyway? I can't please calm down. She's only staying for a few days until she can sort herself out. I do not want her in this house. Period. You know what? I'm asking her to leave right now. I can't. She's asleep. Let's just wait till morning. Or oh, do you think some old flames are going to be rekindled? What was the meaning of that? Because I'm just wondering why you're objecting to her staying here. Are you still in love with her? You know what? I will not dignify an answer for that question. Do you understand me? Fine! She stays tonight. But first thing tomorrow, she leaves. Otherwise... I'll leave this house. Go for it. And... The demarcation between us tonight. Do not cross your boundary. sister-in-law and you will never be so if you think that you have come back here to skim your way back into Akan's life you have got to be joking he's happily married to Tony and will remain so so it will be over my dead body before I will allow you Erica Erica put your clothes back I'm not here to reclaim come to think of it I'm not here to reclaim what originally belonged to me I was just stranded and I have nowhere else to go to but here. So, if you'll be nice to me, I'll just be here for a few days till I sort myself out and I'll be out of your way. Never. We will never allow you to stay here. I have to speak to Akam. There is no way we are going to allow you to stay in this house. Then you underestimate the power of love and a determined woman. I can't believe Bruno did all of that to you. I never knew that guy was so violent. God! It's really a miracle how I survived those four months, Toya. That guy is nothing but a loser. He became so frustrated with his life that he started taking it out on me. I have to find a way to coerce him for us to come back to Nigeria, knowing that once we get back here, I'll leave him. Thank God you didn't get married to him. I almost married him. <laughs> the day we were supposed to go to the registry, we had a little argument. And Bruno beat me up. He picked me up so bad that we ended up not going. After that, I kept making excuses, you know, because I couldn't imagine being tied to that character for the rest of my life. I'm so sorry, Tamano. Don't worry. Everything is going to work out perfectly well for you again, okay? I hope so. My parents don't want to set eyes on me, and I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start from. You can put up with us for a while until we can work something out for you, if you don't mind. Well, that's very kind of you. But how do you think I can all feel about this, knowing how he feels about me? Do you blame him? After all you did to him. But don't worry, I have my way. I'll convince him. You really love him, don't you? Yes, I do. Can I ask you something? And please, I want the truth. I think I already know what the question is. And I have an answer. The answer is no. 
I was never, ever in love with Akan while you were dating him. I only agreed to save a bad situation, like I already explained to you. It was meant to be just for three months. But somehow, we kind of fell for each other. I see. Are you upset? Why should I be? Why? I was never really in love with him anyway, so... I'm sorry, Tom. What are you apologizing for? It's okay. And I want you to know that I wish you all the best from the bottom of my heart. I'm so glad you understand because I never thought you would. Yeah. That's my phone. I have to go upstairs now. Do make yourself comfortable. I cannot be here in no time, okay? Tonye, are you out of your mind? How can you even think of letting her stay here? Erika, she's my friend. She has nowhere else to go. If I don't lend a hand, who will? Tonye, you are digging your own grave. I know Tamino. She is nothing but a schemer. Believe me, she is here to make sure she gets Akan back. I don't know why you're falling for those are fake stories. I understand your grouse, Erika. Tamino means no harm. It's just unfortunate what she's been through and she's usually a very sweet girl. You are digging your own grave. Don't say I didn't warn you. Hi. What are you doing here? Just like you, I couldn't sleep. What makes you think I couldn't sleep? I just knew that I can. Look. What we shared together is like a magnetic force pulling us towards each other tonight. I bet you were missing me and you sneaked out here with the chance that I might be here waiting for you. Well, here I am, awake, waiting patiently for my last breath because somehow in my subconscious, I knew you would come tonight. <laughs> Tamano. Oh my God, you delude yourself, Tamano. <laughs> you do. But for the record, I want you to know that, um, that I love my wife. I love her very, very, very much, and nothing, I repeat, nothing will ever come between us. So, I beg of you to get that nasty thought off your mind. Hmm? It seems like you're trying so hard to convince yourself, and honestly, you're doing a bad job of it. You know what, Tamna? I've always honestly wondered about your mental state, but now you have left me no doubt about the fact that you are truly not balanced upstairs, so if not for the fact that Toye insisted on your staying around in this house, I would have kicked you out of this place like yesterday. Really? Really. Are you really, really sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. Look, we're wasting precious time talking when we could be doing more useful things like this. <laughs> conditioner is bad and the technician is supposed to come fix it at 2 p.m. I'm taking Erica for therapy now. I don't know if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be here. But just um, let me have the technician's number, you know, in case they're delaying and I have to go out. Okay, I think I have a Okay, there you go. That's your number. Okay. Ask for Wally. Okay, Wally. Erica? Erica? Aren't you ready? Uh, 
Erica, let's go. Alright, Tommy. See you. Have a good day. Hello? Yeah, hi. Um, can I speak to Wally, please? I'm calling from Mr. Akam's house. Oh, okay, hello. Um, I'm calling to cancel the appointment for today. Yeah, I'm not going to be around, so I'm thinking of rescheduling for tomorrow. All right, then. Thank you very much. Bye. Come to my office immediately, okay? Yes, um, where are the documents to the Dabiri and uh, associates? Because I have a meeting with them this afternoon. You took them home yesterday, sir. I did, huh? Very well. Cancel my 12 o'clock appointment. After I should we get the document, okay? Yes, Yeah, it's 20. But I told you that earlier now. Yeah, I was... Uh... Akan! <laughs> I didn't know there was someone out there. What are you doing at home at this time? I um, kind of forgot um, some documents, so I actually came to get them. Oh, oh, I saw some documents when I was cleaning this morning. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, thanks. Um, I haven't had the opportunity to apologize for what I put you through. You know, this is not a time, and frankly, I don't want to talk about this. I mean, please, look. I know you were heartbroken. Please forgive me. You have no understanding what I went through. Believe me. You know what, let's just let sleeping dogs lie. I can... I need for you to forgive me so I can move on. I'm sorry. Fine, I have no excuses for my actions. I acted out of ignorance, but I'm really, really sorry. Give me a chance to make things right, please. There's no way. There's absolutely nothing you can do to right things. Nothing. I mean, what you did was absolutely thoughtless and heartless. And, uh, and, and, and you know, just... Talking about this, just taking me back to where it's just one place I, I, I don't want to revisit, okay? Like I said, let's just, let's just drop it. I can please. I know I hurt you. Okay, I... Give me a chance to wipe out those painful memories. I didn't mean to hurt you. I know you're 
are still hurting. And I am too. Let's heal together. Let's find solace with each other. Tell me this is just not. Let me take care of you. I can't believe we did what we just did. It was inevitable, Aka. Stop fretting. Toya must not hear about this. She doesn't deserve to suffer like this. I'm not stupid. Of course I know that. This is just between you and I. Gotta get back to work. Alright then. I will see you later. You've been working too hard lately. Please come to bed. Um, sweetheart, it's um, it's just that um, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's just um, I I just need to concentrate. That's that's all. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you're avoiding me. <sighs> Baby, it's it's not like that, really. You know, it's just that I I really need to get my acts together concerning that big contract I told you about. Remember? Oh, you don't spend time with me the way you used to. You're different. Things are a bit weird between us and you know. No, it's, it's not like that at all. I mean, it's not what you think at all. I, I'm still the same guy. I've not changed. Look, it's just that um, lately uh, I've been like kind of like too busy, okay? But believe me, given time, Things will stabilize and normalize, all right? But don't don't disturb your pretty head over this, okay? I still love you. You want to hang out some more? Yeah. I don't want to go home. The 
lies and deceits in my house is just driving me crazy. What's that about? Faith, I don't mean to bother you with my family troubles, but I'm going to explode if I don't talk to someone. <laughs> Erica, you know you can tell me anything. I know. It's my brother. I can. He's he's cheating on Tony. And with Tamuno, Tony doesn't know anything about it, but it's happening right under her nose. So, what do you intend to do about it? I don't know. Erica, she's been so good to you. You can't just sit by and watch someone steal happiness away from her. You have to help her, just the same way she has helped you. Besides, if she finds out about that, that you knew all about this and you didn't do anything, she'll never forgive you. What can I do? It's just such a huge mess. You've got to put an end to this madness. You think I don't know? I know, Erica. Listen. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I just can't help myself. I can. This has got to stop. It's just not right. Someone is going to get seriously hurt. This is going to have a very bad ending. I know. I know. So, how is it going at home now? It's all right, we're fine. Hmm, I know that song. Man, while all right. Well, what has I can done this time? I thought it's really going well between both of you. It is. It's just that we don't get to spend as much time as we used to together. So yeah. Maybe he's just busy. He says he has this huge contract he's preparing for. I don't know. There you go again. Leave the man alone. Give him a break. He's busy making more money for you to enjoy. Oh yes, I know that much. But sometimes I really do need him around. Hmm, that sounds romantic. Well, which way are you going? I could drop you off if you don't mind. Well, I'm going to face one. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> hey girl, when a man has too much work and little time to spend with you, he's obviously cheating. No, my Akan is not like that. He must be really busy. So why worry about his late night and lose an interest in your body? Just worry, that's all. <laughs> Come on, Tanya. Your feminine instinct tells you that. <sighs> Your man is obviously shagging another woman. No, Christy, stop it. Stop putting ideas in my head. I can't, it's not that kind of guy. <laughs> Go home and do your homework and call me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so, what you're saying in a sense is that it's over. <sighs> Tamano, I made a vow to Toye right in front of the... Forget about the vows, Akan. That was just a comedy of errors as far as I'm concerned. You belonged to me first. I cannot continue deceiving Toye like this. You know that. It's not in my character. Oh, so it's in your character to throw away the love we once had for each other. I thought you said you loved me. Tamano, this, is, this has gone beyond love. Talking about love, no. There is more to this now. This is about doing what is right. We've got to put a stop to this before someone gets hurt. Please. Sweetie, look. I know you didn't mean it. I know you're just stressed up and I'll take care of you like I do normally. Tamano, I beg of you. What are you trying to do? Stop it. Where would this affair lead us? We'll talk about that tomorrow, but for now, 
Let me take care of you like I do. Okay? No, stop. No. Listen. Stop. Please stop. Tell me, please. Tell me, I need to do it. Oh, God. Why? Why what? Why take back what was mine in the first place? Toya, come on. Did you really think that whatever you had with that kind was going to last? Did you? You knew how much he loved me. Yet you went. Oh, please! Would you, for once in your life, Temono, shut your mouth? Listen, it's not what you think it is. I'm truly sorry. There is nothing to say. I can see everything, Chris. I should have known better. Toya, 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 come. There is no need punishing yourself like this. Toye is gone and will probably never come back. There's no point in postponing the inevitable. We were meant for each other and there's no power on this earth that can stop it. The earlier you come to terms with this, the better. You know me, Mishan. So don't ask me no bumbo clad question. How did you find me here? <laughs> How would you have the saying? Goldfish have no hiding place. Bruno, if you don't leave this minute, I'll be forced to call the police to arrest you. Police? Not a thousand of them can stop me because we have our destinies together. We are destined to be together. Been written from Jah from the beginning of creation. Bruno, go away. Leave me alone now. Eh? I built a nest for myself here. Go away. I'm prepared to lay my life for you. Just as Christ laid his. I'm not interested. I have moved on, Bruno. And I suggest you move on as well. No one takes my woman from me. Jah forbids. I'll kill for what is mine. Bruno. You know, if you love me, if you love me, you leave me alone. You go away from me, please. Let me. I found a new life. Let me enjoy it now. I'll go. But be rest assured, I'll be back. You've not seen the last of me, baby girl.
have to tell him. I can't. I don't want to expose my child to lies and deceit. Do you want to expose him to poverty? Okay, how do you want to provide for this child? I'll find a way out. The easiest thing to do is to go back to your husband. Or do you want history to repeat itself? Do you want your child growing up without knowing his parents like you? Listen, Toye. I am not saying you should shack up with Akan. All I'm saying is you should tell him so that he can provide for you financially. I can't. I don't even want to see him. Just give me time and I'll sort myself out. Oh no. I'm not chasing you away. You can stay here forever if you want. I think it's the right thing to do. That's all. I know and I really appreciate it. I would have done without your help, Christy. <laughs> How is your leg? It's fine. How are you? I'm alright, just hanging in there. Please sit. Are you sure you're fine? You know, I don't get you. How do you mean? I don't understand how someone like you quits on their life. You were my rock. With you by my side, I felt I could conquer the world. Erica, I haven't given up on life. It's just that things happen, people... I have a relationship with Efe today because of you. I went back to finish school because of you. I'm sorry, Erica. I have to let you down. I can't. So many times I wanted to give up. But you wouldn't let me. Tony, you were my rock. You made me the woman I am today. Well, life happened. Sometimes life just throws a blow at you you can't recover from. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. You didn't even try to fight for Akan. Didn't you at least love him? I mean, you stood in church, you exchanged vows, you promised to be with him for the rest of his life. And at the first sign of trouble, you bail? Spare me, Erika, spare me! You even know that my marriage was a farce. Maybe it started as one. But it developed into a thing of beauty. It made me so happy watching you and my brother together. I used to pray to God every day, Tony. I would pray that God would make my marriage like yours. Now I can see it was just a waste of time. Anyway, I came here today to let you know my brother still loves you. Because he's no more happy the way he was with you. But I can see you're not even woman enough to fight for your man. Have a good life, Tony. I will come to bed when I'm ready, okay? And please do not start, because I really do not have the energy for a fight, okay? I don't want to fight either. I want to 
wanted to show you something. Yeah. You're pregnant? I'm not happy. No. <laughs> I mean, uh, of course I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, how long have you known this? I just found out today. Uh, wow, I can, we can now be a real family. Yeah. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Hey, Toyen. Hey, who are Toyen? Okay, so what made you change your mind? Erica was right. I have to fight for what is mine. I can't give up so easily. It would be a crime against humanity if I don't fight for Akan. What we had was real. I don't think God would give me a second chance at love if I blow this one. Wow. So you're going to Akan's house? Oh yes, I will. But first of all, I have to confront my fear, which is Tamuno. Because she always makes me feel like I'm not as strong and adventurous as she is. Woo! I'm taking you. No. I have to do this on my own, at least for once. You're kidding. So you want me to miss all that drama that will unfold there? No way. Come on, let's go. Okay. But you have to promise me you will not interfere. I promise. Again. Better believe it. It's me again, me empress. Bruno, I thought I made myself clear when I asked you not to bother me anymore. I have a new life. <laughs> you are the breed and me are the boat, huh? Can't you see? Me can't survive without you. Look, Bruno, if this is about money, Please tell me, I will pay you any amount you want, just to, just to leave me alone. Boom, Boka! Boom! You can't bring down I and I love, sin. It's not a money business. You and I are meant to be together. My husband could see you. Husband? Me are the only one anointed by Jah Rastafari. The Almighty, ever living, ever faithful. As your husband, we belong together. Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble because I don't love you. I, I, I love Akan and I'm having his baby. Impossible! Baby girl, impossible! Ja will never let you have another man beat me. Nah, I mean I take it. Nah, no way will Ja let him profit. Let him impress have another man beat me. Baby girl. for this mission. If I can't have you, baby girl, nobody will. Empress, come to me. Now make me use this. We belong together. Stop it. Stop this madness. Put that knife away. Bruno. Bruno. Bruno.
If you think me go and let her go, then you make a mistake. I will kill her and I will kill myself. Ever heard about Romeo and Juliet? Then these are the modern day version. Nobody is going to let my empress go while I'm still alive. Not from me! She was losing so much blood, they had to rush her into the theatre immediately. Look, Tony, I'm, I'm truly sorry about this, okay? Can please, let's not talk about this now. Let's just make sure Tamuno gets well. We can talk about it later. Mr. Bassi? Yes, please. Well, my colleagues have been battling for three hours now to save her life and the babies. I recommend that uh, she's hospitalized for the rest of her pregnancy. Even without this trauma, five months is a very delicate stage of pregnancy. Five months? Yes, five months. Mr. Bassi. Yes. Your wife is five months pregnant and she needs all the support and love she can get from you, at least for the next four months. First, doctor, she's not my wife and secondly, it's not my child. However, I'll foot the bill, okay? Thank you. How is she? Empress. Where is my Empress? After what you've done, you, you still have the audacity in the front tree to come here? You can't stop me from being with my angel. No one can stop me from being with my angel. You can't interfere with destiny. Remember, you are trying once. See where it landed us. Babylon, now you are gonna say you feel leave my angel alone. Where is she? Um, Wait, what, what, what are you guys right now? We are my Empress! Yes. Me Empress! Come, come here quickly. Wait, yes. Babylon. Babylon boy, where me Empress? Move back, please. I warn you. Be very you. careful, okay? Babylon, me warn you. Babylon, I say wait! Stand where, is me, where is me Empress? Mr. Bossy. That's him. Where is the man? This, this, that's him. Mr. Man, you're under arrest for an attempted murder of Miss Tamuno Johnson. <laughs> Officer. I and I don't go to jail. The servants of Jack and no business in a prison yard. The only prison I and I know is the prison of love. And that's the prison of conscience. Anyway, you can't understand. Just sent I into the wall. I and I have always been misoverstand. By the time you have spent 20 years in jail, you've been singing another tune. Wait, officer, officer, wait, wait. What a man! Good Lord! So mothers do have them, don't they? God. So, uh, where is she now? She said she was going out to have a walk. I'm sure she's around somewhere. Okay. Okay. No one can love me like you. 
Oh, make me feel the way you make me feel No one can satisfy me You're everything that I need I just can't stop loving you Sometimes love can be Cause you want it to be Sometimes it happens When you least expect it no one can tell how the heart can feel But now I know I love you You are the one that I adore You hold the key to my heart You are the sun that brightens up my day Yeah, yeah, yeah You are the one that I adore You hold the key to my heart I just can't stop loving you The sun that brightens up my day You are the one that I adore You are the key to my heart I just can't stop loving you Whoa.